It's the Mueller report. We're on page 99. Denis Klimnatov, an employee of NES, the new, the new economic school in Moscow, said that when Russians learned of Page's involvement in the Trump campaign in March 2016, the excitement was palpable. Weber recalled that in summer 2016, there was substantial interest in the Trump campaign in Moscow, and he felt that bringing a member of the campaign to the new school would be beneficial. Page was eager to accept the invitation to speak at the new school, and he sought approval from Trump campaign officials to make the trip to Russia. On May 16, 2016, while that request was still under consideration, Page emailed Clovis, J.D. Gordon, and Walid Fares and suggested the candidate Trump take his place speaking at the commencement ceremony in Moscow. On June 19, 2016, Page followed up again to request approval to speak at the NES event and to reiterate that NES, quote, would love to have Mr. Trump speak at the annual celebration in Page's place. Campaign manager Corey Lewandowski responded the same day, saying, quote, if you want to do this, it would be outside of your role with the, with the uh, DJT for President campaign. I am certain Mr. Trump will not be able to attend, end quote. In early July 2016, Page traveled to Russia for the NES events. On July 5, 2016, Denis Klimnatov, copying his brother Dmitry Klimnatov, emailed Maria Zakharova, the director of the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Information and Press Department, about Page's visit and his connection to the Trump, to Trump campaign. Denis Klimnatov said in the email that he wanted to draw the Russian government's attention to Page's visit in Moscow. His message, message to Zakharova continued, quote, Page is Trump's advisor on foreign policy. He is a known businessman. He used to work in Russia. If you have any questions, I would be happy to help contact him, end quote. Dmitry Klimnatov then contacted Russian Press Secretary Dmitry Peskov about Page's visit to see if Peskov wanted to introduce Page to any Russian government officials. The following day, Peskov responded to what appears to have been the same Denis Kalimnatov Zakharova email thread. Peskov wrote, quote, I have read about Page. Specialists say he is far from being the main one. So better, I better not initiate a meeting in the Kremlin, end of quote. On July 7, 2016, Page delivered the first of his two speeches in Moscow at NES. In the speech, Page criticized the U.S. government's foreign policy toward Russia, stating that, quote, Washington and other Western capitals have impeded potential progress through their often hypocritical focus on ideas such as democratization, inequality, corruption, and regime change. On July 8, 2016, Page delivered a speech during the NES commencement. After Page delivered his commencement address, Russian Deputy Prime Minister and NES board member Arkady Dvorkovich spoke at the ceremony and stated that the sanctions the United States had imposed on Russia had hurt the NES. Page and Dvorkovich shook hands at the commencement ceremony, and Weber recalled that Dvorkovich made statements to Page about working together on the future, in the future. The rest of that paragraph has been redacted and deleted by Bill Barr. Page said that during his time in Moscow, he met with friends and associates he knew from when he lived in Russia, including Andrei Baranov, a former Gazprom employee who had become the head of investor relations at Rosneft, a Russian energy company. Page stated that he and Baranov talked about immaterial non-public information. Page believed he and Baranov discussed Rosneft President Igor Sechin, and he thought Baranov might have mentioned the possibility of a, of a sale of a stake in Rosneft in passing. We're on page 101 now. Page recalled mentioning his involvement in the Trump campaign with Baranov, although he did not remember details of the conversation. Page also met with individuals from Tat Tatneft, a Russian energy company, to discuss possible business deals, including having Page work as a consultant. On July 8, 2016, while he was in Moscow, Page emailed several campaign officials and stated that he would send, quote, a readout soon regarding some incredible insights and outreach I've received from a few Russian legislators and senior members of the presidential administration here. On July 9, 2016, Page emailed Clovis, writing in pertinent part, quote, Russian Deputy Prime Minister and NES board member Arkady Dvorkovich also spoke before the event. In a private conversation, Dvorkovich expressed strong support for Mr. Trump and a desire to work together toward, devised better, toward devising better solutions in response to the vast range of current international problems. Based on feedback from a diverse array of other sources in the presidential administration, it was readily apparent that this sediment was widely held at all levels of government." End quote. 
despite these representations to the campaign, and then the rest of that paragraph has been blocked off by Bill Barr. The office was unable to obtain additional evidence or testimony about who Page may have met or communicated with in Moscow. Thus, Page's activities in Russia, as described in his emails with the campaign, were never fully explained. Page 102. D. Later campaign work. This is still Carter Page. Later campaign work and removal from the campaign. In July 2016, after returning from Russia, Page traveled to the Republican National Convention in Cleveland. While there, Page met Russian ambassador to the United States, Sergei Kislyak. That interaction is described in Volume 1. Page later emailed campaign officials with feedback he said he received from ambassadors he had met at the convention. And he wrote that Ambassador Kislyak was very worried about candidate Clinton's worldviews. And then the rest of that paragraph is redacted by Bill Barr. It's the Mueller report.